everybody, welcome back to Karen Puzzles. So, after last week's disastrous ketchup puzzle video, it's just evil. Whoever made this is literally Satan. I decided that this week I wanted to do a puzzle that I was genuinely excited for. So today we are doing the 2000 piece gradient puzzle from Cloudberries. And I'm so excited for this. I like couldn't even sleep last night. So this is the thousand piece version of this puzzle, which you might recognize because really early on when I was first making puzzle videos, I did a video uh, just of putting this together. It's just like a visual time lapse of putting it together. There's no review or voiceover or anything but it ended up getting a lot of views on YouTube. It is my most viewed video. And recently, Cloudberries came out with the 2000 piece version of this puzzle. So here's the plan. I'm going to attempt to do this all in one day. And I know that that's what I said about the 5000 piece gradient puzzle, and then it took me four days, but the thousand piece version only takes me two and a half hours. And there's a lot in between of two and a half hours and four days. So I think I might be able to do this all in one day. Here's my prediction. I think that the sorting is going to take 90 minutes. And then I think actually putting the puzzle together will take like seven hours, which is a lot of puzzling for one day, but definitely doable. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Just to be totally upfront, uh, this was gifted to me as well as this one. Uh, Cloudberries have always been so generous and they've been big supporters of this channel from the beginning. So thank you to Cloudberries. Also, this time I actually looked up the size of the finished puzzle and I measured my table and it should actually fit all in one layer. There shouldn't have to be any overlapping. So yeah, I think we're ready to get started. Let's open it up. So the box is larger, but it's the exact same design as all of their other boxes. It's really simple, which I like since puzzle boxes can get very busy. And this is one that you can have out on display. All of the information is on this one side and then the rest is all very simple. The box is larger than their thousand piece puzzle boxes, which makes sense since there are more pieces to hold. It measures about three inches by 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter. So just make sure you have space for it if you buy it. If we open it up, all that's inside are the pieces and this little postcard. So when I dumped out the pieces, I was immediately struck by how beautiful they are. All of the colors just look like little jewels or little buttons. I just couldn't stop looking at them. Just for fun, I grabbed a piece from the thousand piece version of this puzzle to compare and they're the exact same quality, the same size, the same finish on the front, and the same cardboard thickness. So if you have any of Cloudberries' other puzzles, it's the same high quality pieces for this one. A few of the edge pieces were already together, but they were easy to pull apart, so no big deal. And the puzzle is all typical piece shapes, nothing crazy. However, it is mostly this puzzle piece shape and not nearly as many of these other shapes as I was expecting. So I just did all the shots of showing the box and the pieces to the camera. And can we just talk about how beautiful these pieces are? It is just about 8.30 now, so I'm getting started and I'll keep you updated on my time. I'm so ready. I already know I'm gonna love this puzzle. So when it came to sorting the pieces, I tried to sort them into a circle based on where they would be in the finished puzzle. And I also separated out the edges so I would have a framework to work off of since that'll help me do it more quickly than just starting from the middle and working my way out. 
Although that also is a fun strategy if you're just doing it to enjoy it and you're not crazy like me and trying to do it as fast as possible for the camera. And I know I'm saying this through the whole video, but these colors are just so beautiful and they look so nice even before I've started putting the puzzle together. So it is about 9.30. The sorting took me almost exactly an hour, which is actually faster than I anticipated. So I'm making really good time. I really think I'm going to be able to do this all in one day. Again, just look how beautiful that is. I love how all of these pieces are kind of like pastel colors because all the brightest colors are on the edges. So I sorted out all the edge pieces and that's what I'm going to work on next. And uh, that'll just give me you know, the frame, because it is a pretty large puzzle. Typically for gradient puzzles, I do like to just start from the center and work out. But as we learned from the 5,000 piece puzzle where it just felt like it went on and on forever and ever, uh, this time I do think I want to give myself the frame just as a border so I know how much more I have to go. So the edge went together super quickly. Because the thing with this gradient is that the most color separation happens on the edge because that's where the brightest colors are. Unlike the 5,000 piece gradient puzzle, which had the really light and the really dark edges, which were so difficult to put together, this one literally took me like 15 minutes to do the edge. So I just finished the edge. It took me about 25 minutes. Not bad at all. It's just before 10 a.m. So I think I'm making really good time. Can we just look at how beautiful that is? The rainbow, the gradient. This is probably the, my favorite gradient puzzle I've ever done. I'm saying it now. It's so beautiful. When I was doing the thousand piece puzzle, all of the pinks and the purples went the fastest and then the greens and the yellows took the longest time. So I feel like that's probably going to be true here as well. Even doing the edge up here, this was the only part that I had a little bit of trouble on. So I'm going to save that part for last and I'm going to start over here and yeah, let's get into it. So what do you think? Will I finish it all in one day? Take a look at the vlog footage and then I'll be back to share all my final thoughts on this puzzle. So it's been just about an hour and look how much I've gotten done. It is just before 11 a.m. and I think I'm doing pretty well. I mean, look at that. That's like a good sixth of the puzzle. <laughs> uh, getting started here in this area, it took a little bit to really get going, but I feel like now that I have more of the pieces, like the colors kind of outlined out, everything is just falling into place. I'm just not sure about these pieces right here. They seem darker than all of the pieces I have left, so I might have to rework some stuff around there, but it seems like everything is fitting nicely. Uh, that's the nice thing about this puzzle. Sometimes there are pieces that seem to fit and then I have to rearrange them, but for the most part, it's seamless. They're beautiful. I know when it's right or when it's wrong, so I'm having a great time. I'm having a great day today. <laughs> Okay, so I just realized that this whole section, even though it seems to fit here, actually needs to be shifted over. These pieces don't quite fit, even though they seem to fit, which is, you know, annoying. But luckily, this puzzle isn't so huge and the gradient isn't so, uh, I don't know, close on each piece that um, it's like impossible to figure out. Um, you know, I can see that the colors weren't quite right, so I can just move those over. I wonder if it is something about making giant puzzles like these, if you just can't have the pieces be as unique as you can with smaller puzzles. I don't really know the technology of that, but here we go. I think we're back on track, so hopefully I should be able to finish up this section before lunch. And yeah, I think I'm still doing pretty well. All right, so it is 11.15. Here's where I'm at. I actually made quite a bit of progress just 
on the edges of all of this. So you can see I'm actually like a fourth of the way done. So I'm going to go back up my memory cards, replace all the batteries and the cameras, have some lunch, just take a little break, and I'll be back in the afternoon to finish this up. I love this puzzle so much. This is so fun. So it is 1.15 and I have officially reached the top of the puzzle. Check that out. So now I have two sections. I have this pink section up here and then the green section here on the side. So I'm gonna do the pink section first because I think that's gonna be easier. Uh, what I remember from the thousand piece version is that the greens blend together a little more than the rest of the puzzle, but yeah, it's coming along really well. I'll definitely finish this afternoon. I love this so much. I'm definitely gonna be doing this puzzle again someday. You guys, look, I have finished more than half the puzzle. All I have left is this green section on the side. It is 2.30 p.m. I don't know if you can tell, uh, I'm very sweaty. It's gotten very warm in here this afternoon. So I'm just gonna go take a break, sit on the couch. My back has definitely been hurting a little bit just from leaning so far over the table. So I'm just gonna take a little break and then I'll be back to finish up this half of the puzzle. All right, everyone, it's been about another hour. It is 3.30 and all I have left is this section up here. I love how this is looking. It's so beautiful. This is the color that gave me the most trouble on the thousand piece version. So I'm just taking it slow on um, this bottom teal part actually wasn't bad at all. So I'm hoping that I can just finish it up. And yeah, I, I can't believe I did 2000 pieces in one day or I will be doing That's crazy. So it is 4.30, uh, just as I expected. This light green color has been the trickiest of the whole puzzle. I've really slowed down quite a bit. I've separated out the pieces by piece type and you know, I'm getting there. I'll definitely finish today, but it's this corner has definitely been the hardest, but I was expecting that, so it's okay. You guys, I'm finishing it up. These are the very last two pieces. Oh my God, the last piece. There we go. I did it. <laughs> 2,000 pieces in one day. Oh my gosh. It is just before 5 p.m., so um, I did take some breaks, so I'm not exactly sure of how many hours I spent on it, but I'll add it all up once I look at the footage. I'm so tired. It's been a long day. I've listened to so many podcasts. I feel like I've been on a journey, but I finished the puzzle. I'm so happy that I did it all in one day. That was my goal, and I did it. So I'm going to get my thoughts together, and then tomorrow I'll tell you more about what I think. <laughs> Yes, I did it. So overall, I love this puzzle. I think it looks so beautiful and I have no major issues with it. I will say it was annoying that some pieces seemed to fit where they didn't actually go, but each piece's color was distinct enough and the pieces were unique enough that most of the time I could tell when a piece was in the wrong spot. So it was more of a minor annoyance than a major issue with the puzzle. Speaking of unique pieces, I mentioned this a little bit in the vlog, but the pieces in this puzzle are much less unique than the thousand piece version. In that one, you can see that a lot of the shapes are exaggerated and you can really use the piece shape to know what piece you're looking for next. Whereas in this one, the pieces are much more uniform and there are fewer special pieces. It's almost entirely this standard piece shape that makes up the majority of the puzzle. And my only other complaint is that sometimes when I had a piece in the wrong spot, the piece would peel up a little when I separated them which kind of ruins the final look of the puzzle since it's not perfectly flat. So if you do this, just be extra careful when you're separating wrong pieces. So I know I've said this before, but to anyone who's new here, I actually find gradient puzzles 
to be the easiest type of puzzle to do. And it's because once all of the pieces are separated by color, you know that all of the pieces for that section of the puzzle are in one place. So you can just work your way across the gradient rather than having to jump around all over the puzzle. And I think that this is the perfect size for a gradient puzzle because the thousand piece gradient puzzles that I've done are just a little too easy for me. They only take me like two and a half hours to do, which is so fast. And then the 5,000 piece gradient puzzle was like a big project. It was kind of overwhelming. So this 2,000 piece version is right in the middle. It is the perfect level of difficulty and size. So the only section that I had trouble with was the green yellow section up in the corner. And I also had trouble with that section in the thousand piece version. So if any of you have done this puzzle, I would love to know, do you also find this corner the most difficult? Or is it just me and my own color vision that can't differentiate those colors as well? Also, not to brag, but a little bit to brag. <laughs> One of the reasons why I love this puzzle so much is probably because I have perfect color vision. There's this color test online that I did in college and I got a perfect score. I was the only one in my class to get a perfect score. I recently met someone who is very red-green colorblind, so somehow I feel like he would not enjoy this puzzle as much as I do, which is totally fine. Different people can like different things. So just for fun, I also put together the thousand piece gradient puzzle so that we can see how they look on top of each other. And it's just so beautiful. Let's just, I'll sit here and just drink this in for a moment. So my predictions for how long this was going to take me were 90 minutes for the sorting and seven hours to actually put together. And it ended up taking me 50 minutes to do the sorting and just under six hours to put together. So I was actually faster than my own prediction. I had such a great time doing this puzzle. I definitely recommend it if you like colorful gradient puzzles like this. I'm definitely going to be returning to this and doing it again, maybe this time just starting from the middle and working my way out or starting from a different corner, a different color. So I just wanna clarify that these two puzzles are the ones made by Cloudberries. The 5,000 piece gradient puzzle that I kept mentioning is actually made by the newly rebranded The Play Group. And they also have a thousand piece gradient puzzle, which is about the same level of difficulty as this one. Uh, it's just a different gradient. So I'm going to link all of these below if you wanna get them for yourself. So I would love to know in a comment, what is the biggest puzzle that you have ever done in one day? And do you like to see how fast you can do your puzzles or do you prefer to take your time and enjoy the process. So don't forget to subscribe for new puzzle videos from me every week. And your code word, if you watched all the way to the end of this video, will be yellow. All right, happy puzzling. I'll see you all next time.